Oh yeah, hi there. So in this video, we're going to take a look at real-time subscriptions. So here in the docs, we can come um, super base docs, references. We're going to be looking at this part right here, real-time. So basically, when any data is inserted or um, updated or deleted from a certain table, then this will alert you of the change, and then you can immediately make it visible on the UI. So a good use for this would be something like a chat app or maybe, yeah, in our case, it's gonna be a blog where the comments are, and posts are updated automatically. Uh, so for example here, like if I have new post or real, so you see there's just new post down there, blah, 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 add post, uh, now it's down there, okay? And it's also been added to the database here in our ta post table, new post for real. Okay, but let's start over. We're going to delete this table and delete the comments. Oh, other objects depend on it. So then we have comments, basically, that are, you can comment on a post. So let me delete the comments, and then I can delete the posts. Okay, I'm going to remove that. And I've kind of given up on CSS. I just kind of get too obsessed with it, and then I don't make progress on these videos. So um, this is what it looks like. Okay, so I have just a basic setup. Basically, I installed at superbase slash superbase dash js and then I have the super base file um, create client like this import.meta.env v super base url which come from these both come from .env right here and note that they have to start with vite like this for vite to actually pick up on them okay so anyway okay so this is the code so basically it's just an index and a post um, and I just have those there in case I forget I can copy paste Okay, so let's get started. I don't know why this still has something on it. It should be blank. There we go. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make a new table. We're going to call it posts. Description, now. Nah. Okay, add column. So a post can have a title. It's going to be text. And a, some content. So content is going to be text. Save. Okay, cool. And then we're going to have comments, like this. And we're going to, it's just going to be, um, I'll call it content, keep it consistent. And it's going to be text. And then we'll also have a foreign key, which you do with the link. And the foreign yeah. key is post here. And it'll be based off the ID, sure. OK, save. OK, that should be good. Error for input at columns. Oh, I need to give a name, which is post. OK. There we go. Okay, so now we have our posts and our comments. So let's start something here with index. So we're going to have script. We're going to import superbase from lib slash superbase. And we're going to, so another thing is that I'm not going to have any users log in. So basically anyone has access to any of this data and can do anything with it. Okay, so not ideal, but just for example purposes, that's what we're going to do. So uh, so we don't need to log anyone in. Basically what we need up here is, let's have a main tag, and then in that we're going to have our h1. So welcome to my, well, our blog, because anyone can use it. And here we'll have two parts. We're going to have a make a post, and then we'll also have a um, see your posts. Like that. Okay, so here under make post, let's have a form. So form will have an input. Now let's do this quickly, kind of sloppily. Placeholder equals title and um, the name equals title. Should be good. And then a text area. Oh, that's my dog. You can maybe. Okay, I've moved into a hopefully quieter place. Let's see if this works better. Okay, so anyway, uh, text area name equals content. Okay, so this is our form, and we're just gonna give it a little button here at the end. Uh, make post. Okay, and then when we submit this form on submit, ooh, okay, not that, submit prevent default, it's going to be add post. Okay, so let's make that function here. And actually, I'll just copy paste it from here so I don't have to type that all out. Okay, so add post, what it does is it takes the form data, which will be right here, name equals title, name equals content. So whatever's in those, 
it's going to pass here to form data and then form data I get title form data I get content so await superbase stop from posts insert that okay and that is going to make a post for us so now we just need to do the part where we can actually see the post on the screen uh, it does that weird thing sometimes Okay, and let me add to the main some of these styles right here, just so it's uh, in the middle. Oh, still looks weird. Uh, how did I form? I just used the BR, okay. I'll just quick and dirty like that. Okay, there we go. So now we have make a post, so I can say title, uh, first post, very good post. I make a post and it doesn't show up there, but it should show up in our database right there. Very good post. Okay, cool. So let's do the subscription thing now. Okay, so how I'm gonna do it is with a readable store in Svelte. So import readable, and we're also gonna need the get uh, from Svelte slash store. And we'll start it right up here. So const posts equals this readable store. So I'm going to start out with null, and then here in the second part, this is going to be the function that when it gets subscribed to, um, it'll set the function. And well, sorry, when it goes from zero to one, basically this will set the initial value. We're going to set it in this function, and then we're going to also have uh, something. We're going to add some another subscription from Superbase that will update uh, the value from within, basically. Okay, so the first thing um, is to actually go and fetch the data of the posts. So this initial value. So initial value is null, but right after that it's going to be calling the posts and it'll get you know all the posts. And then from there there'll be the subscription. Okay, let me just show you. So here we go. We are going to want to set a value. Oh, how do I even get started? Okay, I'm just going to have to rely on this again. Okay, so readable set right here. So we can't make this an async function, unfortunately, uh, because we need to return this value here from this function. We can't return a promise. So we're gonna have to do it like this, from select then. So we're gonna from posts, get everything, and then set the data, um, basically set the value of the store to whatever data we get back. Okay, so that's gonna set the initial value. So that's all we would do if we wanted to, um, so if I refresh, oh wait, I need to show it on the screen. But this is what we do if we don't want it to be real time. If we just want on page load, we wanna show the posts. So down here, let's actually show the posts. So each dollar sign posts as title content. Um, we'll have an H3, which will be the title, and then a little P tag for the contents. Okay, that should be good. What did I do wrong? Uh, yeah, okay, so we need to say, since it starts out as null, we want to say if uh, posts, then actually show them, else they're loading. Else loading. Oops. Oops. Oh boy. I'm like hunched over here on the desk with this mini desk in another room. So, okay, anyway, so now we can see when we load, it'll load and it'll show us. But if I made another one, second post, then I need to, okay, so I submitted it, I have to refresh and now it's there. Okay, but we want it to immediately appear right after we hit make post. So that's where the subscription part comes in. So here uh, from this thing, we're supposed to return like an unsubscribe function. So in Superbase, the unsubscribe, uh, to be honest, I don't 100% understand when you need to unsubscribe. I haven't ever really done that, but um, either you're always supposed to, or I don't know, please leave in the comments if you know when you're supposed to unsubscribe. But um, anyway, this is probably best practice. Okay, so right here, we just need to say, um, add subscription to Superbase logic. Okay, and again, I think I'll just copy and paste because that's quicker. So this is what we're gonna have right here. So we'll call this subscription, which is what gets unsubscribed from down there. So basically, superbase.from posts on. So on 
uh, any change. So this could be like insert, or it could be um, update, or it can be all like this. So payload is going to have basically three things we care about is payload.event type, which is going to be insert, delete, um, update, upsert. There's going to be payload.new and payload.old, which would be used for an update. So we're only going to look at insert in this video, but uh, so we only care about new, like the inserted thing. But if you're doing an update, then you would be looking at old, um, a delete. I'm not sure what you would be looking at, but okay. So basically, whenever anything changes, we're going to say if the payload.event type is insert, then we're going to get the posts that already exist in the store, and then we are going to add payload. Um, we're going to add the newest post at the top or at the end of the uh, post. Okay, so it's going to set the new uh, store value. Okay, so this should work. Let's see now. Um, okay. Oh boy, someone's got a motorcycle. Okay, real time post, make post, and we don't see it. Let me see if I got an error. Uh, no. Aha, okay, so the thing I forgot to mention, which you need to know, is that if you actually want to use real time, is that you need to go to the store. So here we are at posts, and we need to enable something. What is it? Um, we need to enable, where do we find that though? Storage authentication. It's some kind of, okay, let me just look at the docs. We need to note, managing replications. Go to database, click on replication, uh, database, replication, okay, here it is. And then click here on zero tables. So basically we want to turn on posts. Okay, and hopefully that should work now. So refresh, there's a real-time post, really real-time post. Okay, there we go, now it's working. And let's also put the comments too. Okay, so that is how you do it. I guess, I mean, that could be the end of the video because you can now do a real-time thing. Uh, one way we might change this if we're only doing inserts is we might just do insert and then we wouldn't have to actually check if it's insert because we already know it is like that. But I'm going to add in the comments as well, which will have a bit different of logic um, and it might be useful if you want to make some type of blog thing as well. Okay, so we have a post. Uh, maybe I'll just do this quick. I'm not actually going to type it all out. So we got a post, let me get rid of this one. This is an empty one I was gonna type into. Oops. We're gonna have a post, and basically it's very similar. Um, it takes in the ID, title, and content, and it's similar in that it has an add comment right there, and it has this readable store, which is the subscription um, logic, and it's just you know comments. If there's no comments, don't show them, and here's just an add comment thing. Okay, but basically here, the logic is a bit different is because we are passing in the, so let me put that in here, post, uh, so title, content. So I could pass in title, content individually. Well, sure, I'll do that. And ID, and then pass those in. So it takes title, content, ID. Let me import that post. Okay. Oops, why does it do that? Okay, so now I got a post. Uh, let's see, cool. First, very good post. Uh, closing tag down here, post, okay. Hopefully that's working now. Cool, so no comments yet for any of these. Um, so you'll see when I, very good post, actually very bad post. Add comment, oh okay, people are gonna say bad video because it's not working. So I clicked add comment, uh, but we see it didn't show up. Let me make sure, last time I clicked on one of these and then it didn't actually save it. Okay, but it did save it this time, so I just messed something up. Uh, so let's go back to the table editor and look at our comments. Okay, I didn't even add the, uh, didn't even add those there. So let's come here to post, add comment, what's going on, comments, form data, get 
comment post dot equal ID update post content. I see. Okay, so basically, uh, before when I made this, I didn't call it content, I called it comment. Big mistake. So I just need to re, just need to call this content. And hopefully it'll work from there. Uh, this should be comment content. Okay, so basically when we insert it, we just need to pass the post ID along with it. Okay, so the ID is automatically created when you create a post. And remember, I um, I have a post like an ID. So you're basically just putting in the ID of the post, which is just a number, one, two, three, four. Okay, so basically we're passing that ID down into the post. So this, this post knows which ID it has. And then whenever we create a comment, we just want to make sure we put a reference to that post right here. So post is that ID. And uh, the content goes there. Get comment, is that okay? That should be fine. Okay, let's see if it works now. So let me refresh, no comments yet. Bad, 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 add comment. There we go, so that adds the comment. I can keep adding it if I want. And then here I can say good, add comment, and you'll see it's there. And then another thing is if I open another window here, and I put this to the side, hopefully I don't accidentally show anything bad. Okay, here we go. Uh, and then I say here, this person really likes the post, so I say good, 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 I add comment, and it'll show up on both of them. Okay, so that is how you can make this little blog thing with real-time uh, real what subscriptions. Uh, so the other thing you'd want to do is, you know, in reality, you probably, uh, you know, anyone basically anyone can do anything with any of this data. Uh, so that's bad, probably. Um, so what you would pr you would want to do is come here, do row level security. Uh, so create some kind of policy where enable insert access for authenticated users only. That's a start, so you can only create something if, um, so you can use this template and save policy if you wanted to. Uh, so you have to log in first, so you'd have to create the login and everything. Um, and then you could display the username next to them or something, that's one thing you could do. Um, and then you'd have to make a policy like when they delete that they would um, need to be the creator of the post to actually delete it. Okay, but I'll get into role level policy a different time. Um, I'll try to put this up on GitHub so you can take a look. And that is all for this video. Have a wonderful day.